TNT Radio. The Swedish horror thrash metal band Pakyu just released last 9th of February the horror and the metal. The album is a simple statement and draws on the two fundamental pillars of Fuck You. Horror is the band's general theme, and their films from the 80s serve as their main lyrical and visual inspiration. And the metal gene is what that runs through the veins of the band. We speak to Patrick, bass of the band, to know more about this new album. Hi, Patrick. What's up? Hi. Hi. Uh, well, I'm just recovering from uh, a pretty intensive Christmas celebration. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> All we are in that uh, yeah, physical um, <laughs> mental state. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, all, it's always nice to go on, on uh, holidays, you know, but I'm, I'm always, after a while, you feel like you want to go back to, to normal again. And uh, most of all, start to rehearse again, you know, because uh, now it's uh, especially fun to rehearse since we have a new album coming out. So, um, you know, it's always a little bit funny. The rehearsals get a little bit more funny with new songs, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, Fagio is a band with a long history uh, because you <clears throat> just released your sixth album. But uh, before speaking about that, um, I want you to, to explain to me carefully the words mm. gain hidden behind the name of the band because when it is pronounced, it sounded, but the meaning is a different one, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, well, it started. As you say, the, the, the history of the band is pretty long. It, it started as an idea back in 1987. Uh, and then uh, I played in, in another band then called Midas Touch. Uh, and, you know, in at that age, around 20, 21 or something, well, you take everything very serious. And we were, you know, with the other band, Midas Touch, we were like heading for, yeah, we're going to be really big and blah, 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 and rehearsed seven days a week. And, you know, we needed another band that was a little bit more loose and, you know, drink some beer and have fun. So then we started FKU and we were really inspired by the band SOD from the States. Um, and we were we wanted to have the same you know three uh, letters with dots in between and since we uh, were going for what our second bi biggest interest besides the the metal music was horror horror movies so yeah and right then uh, the big icon uh, in horror movies was freddy krueger so we were like, yeah, Freddy Krueger, FK. Yeah, we need another, a, a, a last uh, letter. And, uh, and you know, being stupid, being young, we were like, yeah, but underwear. Yeah, Freddy Krueger's underwear. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's totally stupid. And, we it, you know, it's coming back. And, and, and because now we used to, to, to make fun of this because it's like we, we started out we wanted to have fun, but we 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 always really serious about the music. You know, we want the music to be really really good, but we want to have a little bit, you know, uh, an, a notch of uh, what? How do you say it? Um, something hilarious, maybe. Or yeah, something. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, don't take everything so serious. You know, because mm -hmm. sometimes you know you you have to have because that's the meaning of it. You know, you play music to have fun. You know. And, and we always refer to, uh, you know, the Exodus saying um, uh, they have this. Uh, uh, now I lost it. It's it's like you have you, you want to have fun in an extreme way, in a violent way, but, you know, still have fun, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's Freddy Krueger's underwear. And then um, the umlauts over the U. The, the dots over the U is, you know, because, you know, Motorhead and Mach 3 crew yeah. and every every everyone outside the, the Scandinavian countries thinks that, you know, the two dots looks exotic. So we, yeah, we throw in two dots. So then then we realized in Germany, that's a German Y, 
So people get totally confused, you know, yeah, what, what, F-K-U, <laughs> you, you know? So, yeah, but it, it's, it's pretty, you know, most band names very often is, if if you if you think like Metallica now, Metallica yeah. is like, you, you know, it's, it's a, but it's a quite stupid name, actually, you know, Metallica, it's, or stupid, but, but, but you know, but it's, if you let it grow on you, it's finally, it's, it's a, a part of, of the band and it, yeah. you no longer to think yeah so um and and in the beginning in the beginning we always wrote fku and then freddy krueger's underwear after but we got so many questions around that so we skipped the freddy krueger's <laughs> underwear and just go for the fku you know yeah okay, that's, that that's the long version <laughs> just in case it was not uh, clear for new audience or whatever so we yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah um musically speaking it is said you sound as uh one foot in the bay area thrash metal and yeah. one foot in east coast crossover metal so mm. what is the result of fact use music it's it's because we that that's the that's the you know as a lot a lot of people in my age uh st you know uh discovered the 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 harder music with you know with the band kiss you know it's a kiss yeah. alice cooper stuff like that and then you went down to heavier stuff like you know iron maiden and then slayer and then death metal and stuff but and and when you're young you always are looking for the 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 most brutal stuff you always want something more brutal mm -hmm. and um uh, but we always come back to the thrash metal from the 80s because that's I, probably it has a little bit to do with that's that was something that was so integrated with your growing up you're really uh, sen sensitive for inspiration at that age so you know i listen to a lot of different music uh also you know black metal and death metal but i always come back to the 80s thrash metal because it's like to me it's the most perfect metal music it's like it's like mm -hmm. You have everything, and yeah. and you know, and and the and the and the tempo. You know, we we call it horse racing, uh, horse horse racing tempo. Because it's that, da -da 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 and it <laughs> makes you like you know, you yeah, automatically you get you get happy. You know, it's like uh, yeah. And uh, when we, because the idea of the band was in eighty seven, but we didn't really start as a serious band in ninety seven. And in ninety seven, starting uh, playing thrash with a bit a bit of humor in it was the was so totally uncool to do because then you know it was black metal you, yeah. everything was supposed it's to be wah. and we came there in in our striped shirts and woo and shorts and stuff and you know it was like but we didn't care because we, we 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 started a band because we started a band that we ourselves wanted to go and watch you know so and there wasn't any band like that out then so uh we did it ourselves so um yeah uh, but in my in my in my humble opinion it's the it's the it's the best metal form of music it's the thrash metal yeah so yeah <laughs> and i think that's uh, as you said uh it's the perfect mix with the horror movies of those times so maybe the mixture yeah. is perfect yeah the mixture <laughs> is perfect yeah it's my it's like it's like you know it's if someone asked me to 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 uh, start a band with my two biggest inspirations it's those two it's like you know i have all my life in is in, in this band you know it's like it's it's perfect you know <laughs> yeah and you grew up yeah. with it <laughs> yeah. yeah and in addition to that uh, according to the first um, album's name for example metal motion mad sometimes they come back to mosh where monster deal um rise to the mosh mongers i mean you are a band absolutely devoted to mosh beats yeah <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. another funny yeah. thing yeah it's 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 always it's yeah it's it's of course it's it's a big it's a big part of the 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 scene is the the mosh pits and it, it started like metal motion mad was a spoof of the the anthrax song metal thrashing mad and then we just on on you know so we have to have mosh in every title on the albums and it, it finally we when we released our latest album 1981 we thought no 
now it's time to break this, you know, <laughs> this mosh circle. We're still <laughs> as much into mosh as as always, but we, you know, but we still have a, a couple of. Um, I think it's uh, at least one title on the album, the new album uh, that had mo ha has mosh in the. Yeah. yeah. The ninth, so, the, the, the ninth uh, track, some kind of mosh. Of course. Yeah, some kind of washer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. of, of course, it is a spoof of, of the metallic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was running out about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we know how uh, you lyrically spoken, but uh, it was just a curiosity. Is Wes Craven your favorite director? Uh, actually, my favorite director is John Carpenter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was another possibility. A, yeah, 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 yeah. Wes Craven is is a or was a, an excellent director, but I think uh, John Carpenter is like, yeah, is is the you know he make incredible music. He 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 did Halloween, which is my all time favorite horror movie of all times. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's yeah. difficult to compete with that. With it's difficult to compete. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as I saw and listened to the horror and the metal, uh, it brings us a variety of metal songs dedicated to several horror classics. I mean, there mm -hmm. is no transversal topic, nor is it a conceptual album. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 As we, as I said, the 1981 was a, a total concept as a tribute to to the year 1981 because it's it was a year when unbelievably uh, many uh, slasher movies were released. So we felt like, yeah, let's let's do try to do something different and focus on just have songs about that year. Uh, so that was a concept album. This. This time it's more of uh, picking out uh, parts of our earlier albums, and you know, we, let's have one song that's more like you know uh, our our most famous song is, is uh, the Pit and the Poser. It's it's always you know uh, it's like it's our uh, run to the hills. You know, we can't leave the stage without playing it. People, mm. oh, yeah, oh, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> So let's make and, and that's the the some kind of mosher song and, and we picked uh, we wanted to as uh, as you said earlier we wanted to make it a, a, st a statement what FQ really are and that and that's uh, that's also why we have the title you know the horror and the metal that's all it's it's about you know it's uh, it's simple but it's fun and uh, yeah that's who we are <laughs> so uh, no no concept but it. Then again, you know, every uh, our albums is like at least two thirds of the songs is always uh, referring to to horror movies. So it's like you you can call that a concept if you want, but you yeah, know, yeah, absolutely, but yeah. but yeah. not not dedicated to not, to one uh, no to one no no topic exactly no no okay exactly. Mm. Uh, speaking about you are simple and funny. Uh, just say that your intention with this album was to be mm. very direct. What does it mean on a musical and uh, lyrically uh, way? More direct, yeah. Um, uh, I think we started that already on 1981. We, 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 I think we referred to on 1981 that no uh no fillers just killers you know you know like if you have a song and it's like yeah we shouldn't we need another verse here no 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 why keep it simple keep it like finding the essence of what we are you know and we a, li a little bit why we wanted to return to uh, a little bit more like uh horror metal anthems because it's when we play live yeah it's it's a uh, We had really, really fun recording 1981, but it's really, really, it's lit, a little bit more like a, a punkier, hardcore album. Two, two minute songs, really fast. Yeah. And, you know, live when you play that, uh, after a while you get, I need th this slower song, you know, where, where the audience is, is singing with us and stuff like that. So I think that was a little bit, but 
we because we picking songs from 1981 to play live it was like hmm, they are a little bit similar to each other we wanted to make more difference between the songs mm -hmm. so hopefully we managed that on this one uh we'll see what the <laughs> audience say <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. We'll have to yeah, wait, yeah yeah but uh, yeah 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 uh, listening to the album mm. i agree with you but uh, the audience has to mm. to speak mm. yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah speaking about the songs the homonymous mm. song the horror and the metal uh, with a video yeah. uh, mm. tell me more about it uh, why was it i mean i know or oh, I suppose it was chosen uh, to to film a video because it's the the name of the album, it's a song, so it, it has mm. everything. But tell me more about the filming or the concept you wanted to 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 reach to the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's like because uh, we we realized that uh, we we've we've made several videos and the the, the ones we are are most satisfied with. Uh, back in the day are, are the two ones that are uh, animated you know <laughs> and that's why and that's because we they they uh, got the feeling we want to transform in the video and we realized that it's so stupid because we are uh, putting pretty much effort into looking a specific way you know we use makeup and everything yeah and very little of that is is visual in the videos so we thought this video is like we want to show up show us more like you know we, yeah. we don't want to have a secondary story it's just us it's the horror and the metal and that's uh and then again you know videos is really it's a really hard thing because it's like yeah it's four minutes but it's really hard to make those four minutes interesting even four minutes especially if you just have the band you know yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so um i think we succeeded it's it's like we have a really talented guy who also take our band photos who did the video and he's like he we we we've been doing so many things with us so he's starting to be become a fifth member you know so he when we say stuff yeah it's like we wanted to be more like the scene from that movie he understands right away you know uh so yeah i i, I think it turned out really really good um and then again we got a uh for the spawning we got finally got an animated video again which was which was uh, yeah i was going was, on yeah, to yeah, speak yeah. about that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 because i uh, like it a lot i, I yeah, like the videos with the musicians and as yeah. we said previously it's a, a proof that you, you wanted to be direct because you are there uh, for mm. four minutes so it's a big mm. thing but mm. the spawning is a, an amazing single with a hilarious animated video that uh, maybe that is going to sound stupid, but uh, remind me to the Norwegian TV show uh, Metacol Metalocalypse. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it was it's like it's funny. like it's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a metal metal Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse yeah. meets uh, <laughs> other, so meets uh, Scooby Doo. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 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 drawn in that seventies uh, eighties style. I like it really really much. Uh, yeah, and it, it's I love that because it's you know recording albums is fun. Recording videos is hell because it's like waiting waiting waiting. Okay, go go. Waiting waiting waiting. <laughs> go go. And you play the same song over and over again. And it, you're you know. Uh, so animated it's perfect you know just tell the guy who make it or girl who make it you know this is what we want to be and then you get it delivered it's perfect you know <laughs> you it's forgot like god about that <laughs> yeah yeah forget yeah yeah so this time we don't cuz uh when we did the the animated video for uh, black hole hell uh we we he sent us you know i i made uh, 15 more seconds so we got to see it, it all the time this time we said no we don't want to see anything before it's finished you know <laughs> Which, we want to have the same experience like the audience, you know. Whoa! <laughs> I have to go and see this band. It's great, you know. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, and, it's, and, it's, and it's the video is very close to the concept of the band. It's funny as yeah. well. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, you are very funny dressed like uh, sailors <laughs> with T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, we, we, was, we, we, we said that we should start to have, like, you know, dress, uh, start... Uh, 
what, what do you call it uh when you change uh clothes during the concert like madonna or uh, taylor swift you know we have to have uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have, have to, to turn totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. it yeah 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 we have to put on those uh sailor striped shirts and stuff when we do that song live yeah 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 that's a big thing yeah <laughs> Um, maybe next time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah, you have yeah. a big idea for the next tour or whatever yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> give us the money and we will make it you know it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um speaking about another song uh he's the antichrist uh, another yeah. release single uh who is the horror character in this case the christ or the antichrist It's the Antichrist. It's uh, it's it's based on um, the movie The Omen. Uh, we have we have a few classics on this album that we realized we had we hadn't covered on the uh, other albums, like The Omen, because we have this tr trilogy of uh, satanic movies uh, from the horror movie. It, it's the it's The Omen, The Exorcist, and uh, Rosemary's Baby. It's the three, yeah. you know. And we thought, well, the omen. We have to do the omen. So it's uh, it's Damien, the little the little brat. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually played along uh, a couple of years ago. We actually had an idea of doing uh, 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 an EP with just uh, satanic horror movie theme, and we we were thinking of covering all all three omen movies you know mm -hmm. but uh it didn't yeah we even had a, a, a idea for a cover and everything but it you know it didn't feel no it wasn't uh well it wasn't funny enough you know it's like you know so maybe well, a more serious mm -hmm. Topic, mm, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have to kill your darlings, you know. It's like, <laughs> sad, yeah. but uh, yeah, and that that song turned out. It's actually, I think, it's the first. It's the first song we made for for the new album, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, some songs comes, you know, like some so some songs you have to work with a lot to make, you know, make them fly. And this one just ktish, just yeah, enough. Just ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Uh, yeah. And speaking about your songs and the, the life, I could say uh, your songs are designed as well to interact with the audience, and they are true agents, as you said before. And I could say you you keep that uh, that line. Wait, well, say the question again. Um, I would say your songs are designed to interact with the audience. Yeah, yeah, Speaking yeah. About yeah. most ships, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But uh, they are reading as well, like hymns, like uh, anthems. Uh, anthems. So that yeah, they yeah. they can sing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You are pretty focused on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this time we, we wanted to to have. Uh... You know the best the best thing when you play live is to when the audience know the lyrics, you know, and you can yeah. stop singing and they sing the lyrics. It's like you know, then you have succeeded. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and you have if you have two hundred person gelling Antichrist, it's like yeah, we. Yeah. It's a it's a good it's a good night, you know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, um, and and. The the funny thing with with uh, uh, when we released 1981, uh, especially for me who is very much in in charge of writing the lyrics, I always because it's like I have I have books and books and records and I collect uh, soundtracks to horror movies. I, I'm a I'm, I'm a total horror movie junkie, you know, <laughs> uh, and I'm always trying to put in some small uh, what do you call it red herrings you know some uh things that only if you're really really into this movie you know what i mean mm -hmm. but at the same time at the same time you have to make it so if you if you're only in it for 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 the music you <clears throat> you have to <clears throat> appreciate it as well you know and you have to make it 
Yeah. <coughs> sorry, sorry. You have to please beg both. Yeah, you have to 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 play a balance between mm. being inside the movie and analyze it as well. <coughs> yeah. In 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 his <coughs> technical part or in, yeah, yeah yeah plot and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Or, or at least you you need more time <coughs> after watching the movie to think about about it. Absolutely. The best best thing is if you can make people who are new to the horror concept to go and watch the movie, you know, then you have really have succeeded. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and <coughs> as said in the last line of the homonymous song, it's horror and metal to the end. Could it be the slogan of FQ? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So That's now all you've got the, the slogan for the tour and the dressing up as well. Till the end. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Probably, yeah. We haven't been thinking so far yet, but that's a good one. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. But uh, I was reading some of the lyrics and I, I, yeah. I thought it was was the perfect slogan or the perfect title yeah. for a tour yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, speaking about that, speaking about shows, live tours, um, you are a very working band. Yours is playing live, isn't it? And you have uh, in mind future shows or tours or are you planning uh, kind of that? The thing is that since we've been, we've never been a band that has, we always had, uh, several members ha have had other bands at, uh, that have been the main focus and FKU has been, you know, the band we do things with when we have the time but now it, it we have a few that have turned into sorry um uh the main band for us so now we are focusing on uh, finding a, a, a suitable uh promotion and tour managing mm -hmm. company because <laughs> we have been doing all that by ourselves in earlier years and it's it's uh you know it's a full-time job it's really yeah. and especially now after the 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 corona and everything there's uh fewer clubs to play at and there's so many bands that wants to play live so it's yeah. like you know yeah, yeah the venues the venues are complete are very difficult to be found yeah 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 and uh you, you know you have to find suitable other bands to tour with and yeah no, and it's it's such big uh big costs you know everything has, has turned you know the just to have a nightliner for two weeks in europe is like whew, so much so much money yeah. so yeah <laughs> and you, if you don't have this as a full-time job you really need to yeah but we really want out to play we have been you know we, we haven't been We uh, uh, on 1981. It, it was the first time we went to Germany, and Germany is like the first place all bands go in in up in Scandinavia. When you you know because yeah, Germany, yeah, true. yeah, 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 and it's like first time I mean, we were, I can't believe this. We've been playing since 97, and we've never been to Germany, <laughs> and uh, and then we went to Japan, and that was ugh, unbelievable. <laughs> it was like you know, uh, so fun. It was like it was great. So we got really got um, sweet tooth from that, and we yeah, we we uh, definitely want to go out and play more now. Yeah, and Spain, of I course. Mean, and, uh, yeah, 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 I yeah, hope yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Um, what is the connection between that project born in the late eighties? And a band that in 2024 has evolved a lot. I think it's, um, as I told you, the, the, the two first albums we made were more like, you know, we did everything. We played some uh, grind metal and black metal. We'd throw in everything. And on, on We're More Just Well, our third album, we somehow <coughs> realized that, wow, We have we actually have a, a, a own sound because when people heard FKU songs, like, ah, this is FKU, you could hear it right away. And it was like so I think from from the third album up till now, we've been 
slowly working on uh, more and more as we as as I told you earlier, picking out what's the essential, what what's you know, cutting off all the the extra yeah. meat and just you know make it clean, make it just you know yeah more um, you yeah 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 pure yeah. 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 yeah 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 absolutely yeah yeah. Really yeah. Good. yeah. Um, <laughs> finally, I would like you to to choose a, a song for the album, the horror and the metal, to be listened mm -hmm. after the interview. Uh, if you could explain me briefly why that song. Oh, yeah. Uh, then I, I would like to take a song that's not not one of the single songs, because that, that's hopefully a lot of people have heard that, those ones. I think I want to have uh, uh, the final song, Uh, yes. You are, yeah, you are who you eat. You are who you eat. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> really good. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's actually a, a really good movie called Ravenous. Yeah. I know yeah. That. yeah. 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 You know that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. it's like uh, <laughs> you know everyone is talking about cannibal ferox and cannibal holocaust, but Ravenous is the ultimate cannibal. Yeah. It's so brilliant. In yeah. So many yeah, ways. Yeah. yeah. I I yeah. agree with you. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. So Patrick, thank you very much for your thank time. you and um, good luck promoting the whole round the metal. And I hope to see much. you here in Spain. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a beer. Yeah. We have a beer and a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be pretty, yeah. pretty funny as, as yeah, the, the bunnies and you too. DNT Radio. Tu radio en internet.